Hi you all. My name is Mary. This reading is for Libra. Merry Christmas you all. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. I hope everybody has a great Christmas and enjoys themselves and stays safe and stays warm. I'm picking lucky numbers for you all. Your lucky number for this reading is number 14. Hope you guys um, if you see number 14 I think it's going to be good for you. If you guys haven't checked it out yet check out my husband's new channel Zenden Studios. It's in the description below if you're interested, okay? I'm going to shuffle one more time and we're going to take from the bottom. These are double-sided cards, so that's why you're seeing them. Alright, let's see what we got. Four of Wands. Isn't that pretty? The Wheel card. Five of Swords. Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and Six of Wands. Nice, you all. Are they straight? I think they are. Let's take two of these. Communicate clearly and choose a new direction. Well, Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. There's something that you guys are very excited about. Something that you guys are feeling um, successful or you're about to. You're about to want to uh, celebrate something. Uh, it's a new foundation in your life. But for some reason, you've got a little sadness and you've got a little um, argumentative type of a person, possibly. It may be somebody that's at your work or at your job. Maybe it's, it's your boss. Maybe it's your employees. Maybe it's your employer. Um, that just tends to get under your skin a little bit or maybe they're um, I'll be honest they're jealous of you is how I feel about it or they're not um, thrilled with the way you did something or the way you said something but you know what that's still leading you straight to success and victory over here I mean that's what this is all about right but for some reason, I've got this little bit of a, a heartbreak over here. Kind of like a sadness kind of a situation. Maybe you guys are thinking that you guys are wanting something new. And there's something that you guys are sad about regarding your job or your career. Maybe you're sad about something that's not come in yet financially. You know, every once in a while, you guys are, with this card especially, you're waiting, waiting, waiting. When am I going to get paid for this? When am I going to get my raise? When am I going to get my bonus? Maybe it's for the holidays. Maybe it's for the new year that's coming in. And you guys are like, come on, people. I need this money. I need this <laughs> this reward. I've, I've worked hard for you all. So I have a feeling that you guys are waiting for something to come in. You're waiting for this uh, reward or this bonus or this financial gain, possibly. And maybe that's why you're a little bit sad here, because you, you're counting on it. You're depending on it. And for some reason, it's not coming fast enough, right? 
So maybe that's where this little bit of argumentative uh, situation comes in. You may go to your boss and say, hey, where's my money? I don't, you know, where's my bonus? Where's my, you know, extra pay? Um, I, were, I did the job. Where's my, you know? Um, so I have a feeling, we're going to take some clarifying in a second. I really do have a feeling, though, that something um, is going to come out of this, okay? Some, some kind of, of help is going to come to your rescue. Let me say something real quick. I believe, and you guys are an air sign, so you guys have this um, knowledge and this ability to create whatever you're wanting to create. You have, you know, you're, you're thinking all the time, you're feeling things out, you're making sure that things are, are moving in the right direction. I've got this Ace of Swords, I've got this Wheel, and I've got this Ace of Wands. You guys, this is really about you guys um, moving forward into something that is uh, about to fall in your lap. And you may need to jump onto it, I'll be honest. And it may put you in a little bit of a tailspin because it may be in a different direction than what you guys are expecting or what you're thinking is coming in. Because it says over here, choose a new direction, communicate clearly. I'm seeing this in different ways, okay? I'm seeing this like communicate clearly possibly with a loved one, maybe. So you guys could be dealing with it in a relationship. Maybe that's where a little bit of sadness is coming in. Um, maybe you're wanting to buy your uh, partner something here and, and you're waiting for that money. Um, but maybe this is more like communicate clearly with your boss, with your employer, with your uh, employees, your co-workers. There may be something with this argument that maybe you guys are just not seeing um, the same thing right because sometimes when these arguments come in it's it's almost like you may have one thought they may have another thought but if you guys just sit down and talk about it and communicate there may be the your thoughts may combine into one and and the outcome may be the same but because you guys are not talking about something or you're not communicating it the right way things get a little frazzled in between, right? So I really do believe that, that a new cycle is coming in for you all, but you guys may be a little bit stuck trying to figure out um, what this person's all about or why they're um, being argumentative or why they're trying to deceive you or why they're trying to bully you or defeat you in different ways. Sometimes this is about jealousy, like I said earlier, and sometimes it's about greed and about, um, well, look at it this way, okay? This could be about your work, your job, your career. You've got somebody that's wanting to argue or bully you or just jealous of you because you're successful or you're about to achieve something. So no wonder why they're trying to bully you. They want what you have right? So I just want to say that. So don't let people discourage you or throw you off guard. And every once in a while, this argument could be prevented if the two, if you guys communicate, okay? So I just want to say that too. Maybe this is about the money situation, about what you're supposed to be getting paid. Um, maybe this is about something over here. You're kind of uh, discouraged because something is not coming in fast enough. Let's take a couple clarifying. I'm just going to pick them from the bottom, okay? I'm going to start with this Five of Cups. Shuffle them a few times. I don't want to see them, so I'm picking them from the bottom. Let's take Queen of Pentacles. Are you guys dealing with an earth sign? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Or is this your energy? Hold on a second. You know, she's all about... <laughs> kindness and sweetness and uh, she's about nature and people and love and giving she's just a very very kind-hearted person so on one hand you guys could be gathering this energy and and allowing you know getting rid of this sadness or this aggravation and moving towards her energy to where you guys are are um realizing that you know maybe it's a, a more practical side of you maybe you're seeing things in a more practical kind of a way 
Now, let, maybe just let me throw this in. If this is discouragement because you're not getting your bonus fast enough because you want to buy your loved one a present or something, maybe there's something you can build. Maybe there's something you can make. You know, that's kind of her. I just, I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's kind of how I'm feeling with her. Almost like there's something that you guys can create with your hands or your head. You know, you guys are thinkers. Um, you guys can create something that would be just as good or maybe even better than buying something. So I just want to throw that out there in case you guys are feeling like you're stuck on something. Now, let me flip this around in a different way. This could be someone that you guys are maybe crazy about. Maybe you're in a romantic uh, partner. Maybe this is someone that is uh, someone in your family that you guys are going to be celebrating. But I just feel like that this could be a person that's very down to earth and, and has your best interest at heart if it's a person. So even if it's not a, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it could be that sign, but it may just be her energy or his energy it can be either or. But I just feel like that they're there to help you, to support you, to love you, to guide you, to um, give you a big hug. You know what I mean? So I think I might stop there, you all, because I think she might be a, a important or this energy might be important. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to take one for this Five of Swords. Trying not to drop them. New cards and they're slippery. One more and I'll take it from the bottom. Alright, see what we got. Two of Cups. Look at that. Let me, let me look at this for a second. So we could take this in many different ways, right? This could be you and this person celebrating a new relationship, possibly. Maybe this is your first Christmas together, your first New Year's together, your first holidays together. So maybe this is your family. Maybe this is a brother, sister, aunt, uncle, best friend, um, someone you're dating, maybe. Or maybe it's a, it's a parent, possibly. But look at it this way, you all. You've got something that you've mastered Maybe you're mastering a good relationship and you're going to be successful with it. Let me just put it out that way. Maybe there's something that you guys are working very hard on regarding a relationship and you guys are going to have a, you're you're going to achieve something. You're going to feel like you're on top of the world. Now possibly flip it around again. This could be you and someone else in a business relationship. Maybe maybe you work with someone and, and you guys are going to be successful and get some have some kind of an achievement. This can also stand for um, promotions and, and being a leader, being a natural leader. You have other people that surround you, other people that adore you. And you know what the thing is, you all? You guys treat them with respect and, and therefore they treat you with respect. So if you guys are having a hard time, possibly because of this argument card, with maybe the people you work with or your boss or whoever it is, um, maybe there's a time to have a little time out and, and speak with everyone and, and give them encouragement. And when you do that, I think you'll get it in return. Okay, I just want to say that because sometimes we forget that um, if they respect you, it, let's say that you are their boss or you're their leader, if they give you respect, they work so much harder for you. That's just the way it is. It, it, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it, it's a proven fact. So just remember that, okay? But I also believe there may be you and someone else wanting to uh, have a new foundation. Maybe this is a new stepping stone, whether it's a relationship, a new business partnership, a best friend, a family member. There may be some kind of a, a partnership going on here that you guys are working on that you'll be successful with too. I just have a great feeling, you all. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to take one for this Seven of Pentacles, okay? not going to take it because I can see it. One more shuffle and I'm going to take the bottom card. Page of Pentacles. You know what that is. 
he's all about good news coming in regarding your finances, regarding um, regarding your job, regarding finances, regarding material things. If you guys are waiting on something to come in as far as financial or reward or some kind of bonus or pay raise or uh, end of the year kind of thing, I have a feeling it's coming. I have a feeling here's your messenger, here's your opportunity, here's your... Um, here it is. <laughs> so, uh, just saying, if you all are waiting on something, you guys may be getting the answer that you're looking for or the money you're looking for, possibly. Um, I also want to say this. I have a feeling, you know, there may be new jobs involved here for some of you. You guys may be looking for new jobs or trying uh, maybe new contracts with people or trying to become a leader of other people as well or even your own business. I have a feeling things are going to start falling into place a lot better than they have in the past. And sometimes we have to go through these little stepping stones, you know, these little ruts sometimes, these obstacles, these um, things get thrown at us and get discourage us sometimes. But look at how nice this turns out, you all. The main thing I want to say here is about communications. Well, not the main thing, but I want to say um, make sure you communicate with whatever situation that you guys are dealing with. Whether this is a family member, whether this is a new partner, a new friend, um, someone in your family or, or a business partner or a boss possibly, make sure you guys communicate to where there's no um, miscommunications. You know, you think they may, they, you should go this way, they think you should go this way, but because you guys haven't spoken, maybe there's a, a little bit of um, arguments or aggravation that don't need to be. Now, this says choose a new direction. So I have a feeling that maybe it is a new relationship. Maybe this is someone that's a friend that's turning into something bigger. Maybe you guys were thinking about working for someone else, but now you've decided to work on your own. Maybe this is a new leadership role. Maybe it's vice versa. It's instead of your own business, you're working for someone else and becoming the leader. Either way it goes, there may be a new direction for you. There may be a new opportunity for you all. And I honestly think you're going to be way, way, way happier than, than the other way. Okay? And I really do believe, think about it, pray about it, ask your angels for help, for guidance, for support, because you're moving forward into this new cycle and doing something that's fun and exciting and something that you're thrilled about. This is all about enjoying what you do for a living, enjoying your life, and, and just having, you know, fun with it, with whatever this is, something spontaneous possibly. So I just have a great feeling that things are working out for you all way better than you expect them to, honestly. This is a beautiful reading, Libra. I'm not going to take any more, you all. I don't need to. Um, I think new relationships are coming in. I think stepping stones are coming in. I think if you guys are finding yourself in a financial pinch, make something, build something, create something. I also feel like that you and someone else are really going to bond throughout this time. And I think you're going to be either in a leadership role or you're going to see victory, success, achievement, um, something great coming out of it. And I feel like if you're waiting for finances to come in, you're going to get it in the nick of time. All right, you all, beautiful reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. Everybody have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and uh, Happy Holidays, okay? Stay safe, take care, and stay warm for heaven's sakes. It's going to be freezing cold here. Take care, you all. I'll see you soon.